it was important that I address not just the Dylan roof, but um, address the spirit that uh, that dwelled within him. So I wanted to speak to the inner person, not the outer shell. And so I did achieve getting him to look up and to pay attention to what I was saying. I put my belief in the justice system that um, that they would work diligently as they did uh, to bring this trial to a close victoriously. I'm proud of my family. I am proud of the city of Charleston. And I'm proud of America for keeping this story alive and uh, allowing the victims to their voice to be heard, even now, 19 months after their death. He left that example here for all of us. So we, we must follow that because in his final act on this earth, he extended that hand of friendship and love even to an enemy and it cost him his life. So in him dying, facing an enemy, I'm sure we can all live facing ours. Hate won't win. <laughs> love conquers all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I count it such an honor to be chosen as his daughter, to be able to live out this legacy that he so graciously left here for me.